Hi guys, my name is Mohammed, my name is Mohammed Shahzad Arshad. Today we are going to upgrade Cisco image and that image we are going to upgrade on this switch which is our switch A and it is uh, Cisco uh, if you see 6 Catalyst 2960 switch. So I'm going to upgrade the image for this switch. Uh, it's an old switch but we are going to uh, do uh, upgrade the image so first you need uh, you know one network cable uh, connect here uh, one cable which is a management uh, cable from my laptop because I'm gonna use this my laptop for uh, you know upgrade the image this is where the image will transfer this is a network cable the image will transfer from this side and secondly I have connected USB console cable my USB converter is there and console cable which is connected to the switch if you see on the back is connected here with the switch so uh, this one we will use for console so let's start and uh, I'll meet you on the laptop now okay guys I'm back on my laptop so let's start uh, our Cisco image upgrade so what two things you have uh, you need on your laptop first you must have a TFTP uh, this one is uh, free TFTP uh, I have used for you know uh, before in my past so it's good uh, reliable so you have to configure it uh, when you double click on install and double click on it and it will ask you to the uh, interface and then the directory so my interface is like I'm using uh, to reach to the server with the, this IP uh, sorry to the switch with this IP because uh, I can ping my switch from this so my laptop IP is the like um, uh, my laptop IP is 100.100 .100. and uh, if you are not uh, in a routing because I am using a routing uh, the layer 3 switch is between me so my laptop and that switch so I will reach to that switch only I have to ping uh, the switch IP like 200.4 uh, which dot 3 which is our switch A we are going to upgrade and uh, let's see first connect to that switch uh, via, let's let's start we already have connected console so console you have to check first the com uh, com port number so that one you have you can check via right click on here on your uh, this computer icon and manage when you go in the manage you can go into device manager in the device manager you can see uh, the com port so com port 3 is connected to me so i will open a putty again and then i will go on serial and com port is 3 okay and open so enter enter so i am logged into my switch here so i will do enable okay show version if you see the version right now the version is currently um, this this and this one is the switch and the version is running image version is running this m we cannot see detail in in detail so you can do one more command show flash so you can see we have only one image there which is sc6 and it's 1.2 something right now we have for 29 uh, 2960 i have a one image if we go there and my directory here is so it's sc12 uh, this one and uh, sc12 uh, 122/55.sc12 so let's see if it is uh, latest or okay see it's sc6 if you compare with this image so this is sc6 and that one is sc sc12 so we will definitely go and it's dash 55 and it's dash uh, 44 so we will go and upgrade uh, this one so first i will check if i can reach from my switch to my laptop because i have a network cable also if my switch can reach okay so it means my switch cannot reach but let's see maybe my uh, firewall is 
enable okay so we will go and firewall is enable and i will just this one window defender option off private also I will do off this is Windows 10 by the way so you guys if you have uh, other windows oh, yes okay let's try again one more time okay see now uh, my switch can ping my PC so okay so now we will do one more thing I will minimize this one and I will I will point to my um, I will point this one, I will close this one and I will point the directory here show directory nothing okay. so we will browse and I will go on desktop Cisco image and this one is TFTP directory ok so show directory in the directory you can see the both images here so close ok so this one is keep running on the side so meanwhile I will do one more thing I will just copy the name here rename and I'll copy all this copy and then what we will do we will just do on the side here I'll come this one here and I will say copy tf tftp flash copy from tftp to flash we see there is command is completed it will say what is the tftp uh, ip address the host so my laptop is tftp host as now as of now i will give the ip address to my laptop and it's saying what is the source file name so which file i copied i will just paste here i will do enter and it's saying destination file you want to uh, change the name or you want to use as it is i will say yes as it is and it will start copying if you see on the back started the copy is started now so if you see here it started the image is started so copy 9 percent 11 so it will keep starting doing that so you can see how oh, it's gone on the back here see 18 percent you can see the progress now the image is transferred on a, on the you know on the switch let's give uh, some seconds so it will complete and then we will on the back it's also 41 percent so you must have to like uh, one you can see from console port the what's happening on the switch and second you have should have a tftp uh, server so from your laptop you can transfer the image via network to there Okay, 61% just hang out with me so so total is uh, 9827106 size of the file and uh, started a 75 percent 6 77 79 
82 3 just some more seconds and then we will start the procedure next <clears throat> So different uh, switches, the new models, which uh, because this is uh, 2960, so different models have a different places, boot systems uh, and different ways, but mostly similar to this way. You have to transfer the image to the flash drive or new switches like 3850 is like they are coming with the disk zero, USB drives also coming. So 98% and 100% so this one is completed so I will I, I don't need any more this TFTP I can close it and now we can work only on the switch so if I show you my flash again like show flash so you can see my second also here the image same and it's the latest one so show boot so in the boot you can see this image so what I need to do I will just go in configuration T and boot system I will say flash this one and then I will copy my new file which is this one okay the new one I'll paste here so see I'm asking boot the system now from flash and from this and where and hit enter okay so it got it I will do come out and write first you have to write like save the settings and now you can reload and after it, it now it will start after reload it will load with the new image and uh, later on if you want to delete the old one we can delete so i will do reload confirm and let's see what our switch will do Okay, it's reloading now. See the new image. If you can see the image SC12, the new one which we have just saw, this one from the flash is loading. See, the new image is loading. It will take a little time and when it's fully loaded okay executing now the version is updated see passing the memory test another test and checking the bootloader upgrade all the file which is required it's extracting and applying in the directory it will take a little time more and we'll see when we are our login prompt will be in front of us and until we are we we are not able to ping again the switch uh, it will be still okay again cam test subsystem test
okay so the image see the version sc12 is upgraded so let's see one time more the prompt should come just wait okay still okay now getting up all the password so version we saw that our version is updated so slash and this one we have upgraded show boot and it's booted from the latest one okay so our switch is fully updated so I will do right again it's it's not it's optional if you want you can do it but uh, as of now our switch is fully updated so this was the video about the switch upgrade and if you guys like just press the like button and if uh, it would be more great if you want to see more videos you should subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon for upcoming videos okay thank you bye bye